TikTok made me try it. Slug it. Slugging. Let's talk about slugging. And no, this is not like applying a slug on your face, though historically that has been done. But slugging is a very popular trend on TikTok and other forms of social media, and it becomes popular every single year during the winter time. So watch this full video to learn how to slug, why you should slug, and when not to slug. And I wish there was a better term than slug. But dermatologists have been recommending variations of slugging for decades now, but it took a really cool name to popularize it on me mainstream media. So my name is Dr. Swati Cannon and I am a board certified dermatologist out here in California. Can we just pause for a second because I cannot believe that it's 2023 already. That means the kids born in 2000 are now out of college and getting a job? That's crazy. But I am, I mean, I'm thankful because I know we, on this channel, we talk a lot about anti-aging, which I hate that term anti-aging, but it really is a privilege to age because if we're not aging, we're dying. Doesn't mean that you should look like a shriveled up raisin as you age, but it really is a privilege to continue living and to continue aging. So happy new year, happy holidays to everyone that's watching this. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful time celebrating the holidays with your friends and family. Moving on, to slugging. Now, first, let's talk about the different types of moisturizers. So you have your humectants, occlusive agents, and then your emollients. And we've talked about this previously in a moisturizer video. So if you haven't watched this video on my favorite moisturizers, you need to do so right now because it will set up the foundation for slugging. So humectants like hyaluronic acid and glycerin, they bind to water molecules and keep them on the skin. So they draw water into the molecules themselves and thus pump the surface of the skin. You usually want to use humectants on damp skin, otherwise it will draw water from your skin, making it drier. Occlusive agents like petroleum jelly, which is in Vaseline or Aquaphor, it prevents water from leaving the skin, thus helping to lock in that hydration. And slugging uses an occlusive agent to do that. Finally, emollients, which is the third group of moisturizers. These are not only hydrating, but they also help repair the skin barrier. They are anti-inflammatory. And examples of emollients include ceramides, shea butter, vitamin B3, and B5. So why is all of this important? Well, you need to learn what different kinds of moisturizers do so that if you have a problem with, for example, hydration, then you know you need to have something with a powerful humectant like glycerin. If you have a problem with your skincare barrier, then you need an emollient like ceramide to help solve that problem. So you need to know what these ingredients do and what the names mean. And that's what this channel is for anyway. So by the way, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I really want to grow my channel. That's my big goal in 2023. I want to grow my channel so that I can keep on creating more content for you guys for the upcoming years to come. So what is slugging? I kind of already briefly mentioned it, but slugging means to use an occlusive agent on top of a moisturizer to help prevent trans epidermal water loss. Usually an occlusive agent means either using the Cetaphil ointment, the CeraVe ointment, Aquaphor, or Vaseline and you do this at nighttime. Obviously, you don't wanna occlude in the morning because you don't wanna look like a grease ball in the daytime, unless you're a vampire when to do it. So like I said, best to do it at nighttime. And you can also do it if your skin is really dry. So for example, I have like desert dry skin and when the humidity in the environment drops, my desert dry skin becomes more cracked and inflamed. So I really like slugging in the winter months or if my skin barrier is damaged because I was trying on too many different products. Yes, even dermatologists, we also make a lot of the same mistakes that normal people do. To summarize, slugging is best to do it at nighttime for winter times when, you know, your skin gets really dry. And if your skin is dry and or your skin barrier is damaged, that's also another time to do slugging. However, I don't recommend slugging every single night because if you do, especially if you're acne prone, you're going to worsen your acne. I recommend slugging about once to three times max per week. And additionally, if your skin barrier is damaged, which is evidenced by redness and irritation and dryness and scaling and these little bumps everywhere, yes, you can do slugging, but you also have to stop your active skincare ingredients. So temporarily, you need to stop your vitamin C, retinoid, your exfoliating acids. So you need to stop the irritating ingredients and then help mend the skincare barrier with slugging. Now, if you got to this point of the video, comment below and let me know, have you tried slugging? Do you like it? And if you haven't tried it, why not? Comment below and let me know. So what not to do? Do not apply an occlusive agent over an active ingredient like vitamin C, retinoids, or exfoliating acids. Because what you're going to do is you're just going to occlude this active ingredient in 
making it more powerful, but also a lot more irritating. So occlusive agents should only be used on top of hydrating ingredients, so on top of moisturizers. And will slugging worsen oily skin or acne? Technically, petroleum jelly is non-comedogenic, meaning that it does not clog pores. However, if you slug too much, yes, you can definitely worsen your acne. If you have oily skin, by the way, that doesn't mean that your skin is never dry. You can have oily skin and still have dry patches. So even oily skin can benefit from slugging. One pro tip though for oily skin is that you can moisturize to the full face but only apply the occlusive agent on areas of your skin that are dry. So you can just apply it on areas of the face that have dry patches or have skin barrier damage. It doesn't need to be to the full face. Now how to properly slug. The steps are pretty straightforward. You clean the face at nighttime and remove all of the makeup. By the way, if you wear tinted sunscreen or wear makeup, you really need to watch this video on double cleansing. That really is the first step to any nighttime skincare routine including slugging and you really need to remove all of the product off your face before you commence with the slugging. After cleaning the face, pat your face dry but leave the skin damp. Then apply a gentle moisturizer on top. Make sure your moisturizer doesn't have vitamin C or retinoid or even niacinamide. I mean niacinamide is a really great anti-inflammatory ingredient and in low percentages it may be fine but if your moisturizer has niacinamide greater than 5% then don't use that for slugging. In fact check out this video where I go over my favorite moisturizers for various skin types. It will give you a lot of different recommendations that you can use when you do slugging. After you apply your moisturizer, you let it soak in and then you can apply an occlusive agent on top. So whether that's Vaseline, Aquaphor, CeraVe, or Cetaphil, you just apply a very thin layer to your entire face. It doesn't have to be so thick like this TikToker. You can apply it to your eyelids and your lips. Make sure those areas get good ointment on them. And then you want to wait an hour before you go to bed because otherwise you're just going to rub off all of this hard work on on your pillowcases which then would need to be washed. When you wake up in the morning make sure you clean off all of the product off your face because at the end of the day these are still occlusive agents so while technically they're non-comedogenic it can definitely probably increase oil production which can then be comedogenic. By the way please hit the subscribe button so that I can continue growing my channel and don't forget to share this video with others if you find it so helpful. Another way to slug is you apply a hyaluronic acid serum on damp skin followed by moisturizer followed by occlusive agent like Vaseline or Aquaphor. HA is a humectant, so it also needs to be applied on damp skin under an occlusive agent. If it is used improperly, it can actually dry out your skin more. So having a humectant like hyaluronic acid, plus an emollient like a moisturizer, plus a, an occlusive agent like Vaseline or Aquaphor, well, using all these three different types of moisturizers is going to hydrate your skin a lot more. So if you want to learn how to implement a hyaluronic acid in your skincare regimen without making a lot of the common mistakes I see, then you need to watch this video next. This video will tell you how to avoid some of the common pitfalls with HA and give product recommendations. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button. Please share this video with others and I will see you in the next one.